Hello people, in this video let us look at the third stage of labor. So what is the third stage of labor? Baby has come out already. Now the expulsion of the uh, placenta has to happen. So this begins, third stage is when after expulsion of the fetus and it ends with the expulsion of the placenta. So when does third stage begin? Third stage of labor, you can see that there is no baby here. Baby is out and then now you are waiting for the expulsion of the placenta and the membranes. Okay, This is ar around 15 minutes in uh, people. Okay, But with active management it can become 5 minutes. That is uh, with the control called traction and etc. You can make it 5 minutes. That is the delivery of the placenta. Okay, So look at this. So what happens after the delivery of the baby, the uterus will contract, right? So there will be, um, the uterus will become small, right? About 20 centimeters vertically and 10 centimeters anteroposteriorly and the shape will become discoid. Now what will happen, the area where the placenta is attached to the uterus, that area will contract, right? So there is marked retraction. There's marked retraction, marked retraction of the uterus. See, there's a reduction of the surface area at the placental site. So wherever the placenta is attached there, there is reduction in the uh, placental site. So there is a shearing force here where there is shearing force. <coughs> there is shearing force. There is shearing force between, between the placenta and placental site okay there is a shearing force between the placenta and the placental site okay and this placenta starts separating here they are trying to show the placental site see how huge it is and later it has become only so much so the placental site has shrunk that much you understood now where is this plane of separation the plane of separation runs through the plane of separation where is the plane of separation it runs through deep spongy layer of decidua basalis okay so it is running through the deep spongy layer of the decidua basalis so that the variable thickness of decidua covers the maternal surface of the separated placenta okay so here you have the decidua basalis so through this deep right is the plane of separation okay deep spongy layer of the decidua basalis this much if you remember that's enough then uh, placenta will separate uh, in two ways guys, you have the Matthews Duncan method which is marginal from one side it is starting to separate. Okay, this is more common Matthews Duncan. So this is uh, uh, it's the separation starts at the margin. It is unsupported, mostly unsupported with progressive uterine contraction. It will the separation will go on uh, increasing. This is more frequent. Okay, then you have this um, uh, Schulz method. This is central separation. So here what is happening the detachment of the placenta is from the center. Uh, and uh, the, there will be hemorrhage at the back, so retroperitoneal, uh, sorry, retroplacental hemorrhage you can see, right? So then uh, as and when the uterine con uterus contracts, the separation will go on increasing, okay? And uh, the detachment occurs facilitated by, facilitated by the weight of the placenta. Because of the weight of the placenta, it goes on separating, okay? And there is retroplacental hemorrhage, you understood, right? So uh, which is more common? The Matthew Duncan marginal is more common, okay? Then after this, what will happen in third stage of labor? In third stage of labor, what, what in etc. you'll see third stage of labor, what in all you saw, placental separation. So you will have this, after this you will have the separation of the membranes and then you have the expulsion of the placenta. So after complete separation of the placenta, it is forced down into the flabby uterine, lower uterine segment or upper part of vagina. Okay, so this will be, it will be expelled. So you can either uh, get the expul expulsion manually also can be done. Okay. How will you control the bleeding in third stage of labor? Third stage of labor when you are explaining, you will also have to explain the mechanism of control of bleeding. Our body itself guys uh, knows how to stop the bleeding. Okay. So what will happen? The uterus will contract, right? So the vessels uh, will get obliterated that whenever this complete retraction. So that itself is going to act like a clamp. Literally there it's saying it will like clamp. Look at the blood vessel here. How the muscles are contracting over it and the uh, blood vessel is getting cam clamped. Okay, literally clamped due to effective retraction of the uterine muscles. So nature's way of doing it. So um, what happens is uh, you have to achieve he uh, hemostasis. And um, what will happen here, there is hypercoagulable state of pregnancy, right? So a lot of things help and uh, a position 
of the walls of the uterus also happens and uh, there is myo tamponade so this is what is helping myo tamponade is it all will minimize blood loss okay so the myometrium intermediate layer of myometrium that muscle is going to contract these blood vessels and god is going to naturally help you achieve hemostasis okay so they will ask you the signs of uh, third stage I mean, what is third stage of labor and all they'll ask you you have to write this okay expulsion separation of placenta separation of membranes expulsion of placenta then hemostasis